Back in the backyard, dumbbell workout two, legs. The fuck? All right, so we started off with a little bit of mobility and some stretching, but we're gonna get right off into it, which is gonna be the goblet squats, four sets, 15 reps. Oh, yeah. Goblet squats, an excellent beginner squat exercise. Being that the weight is gonna keep you counterbalanced, you know, typically with a rear loaded squat, you might have the tendency to lean forward with the goblet squat, seeing as the weight is forward, you have a tendency to pull back, which is great. You'll keep your body vertical and you'll get better used to the squat motion itself. We highly recommend this one if you haven't tried it out in the past. Buff Dudes approved. I'm stuck. No, seriously, I'm stuck. Help me. If it ain't walking lunges, it's split squats. Pretty much the same kind of mechanics, really focusing on uh, unilateral on the way on this one. Of course, the rear leg is gonna be working somewhat for stabilization, but the walking lunges take somewhat more effort because you're actually accelerating and decelerating the motion. This one you are with the eccentric concentric contraction, but walking lunges, you have that forward momentum, but this one is just static, although it still kicks your ass. Hudson, you're up. No! Okay. It's amazing what just one pair of dumbbells, what, you, what, what, <laughs> what they're capable of and what you can do and how much of a kick-ass workout you can get. You can do it anywhere. Look at us. We're just doing it in our backyard. Hell yeah. All right, we got a quick tip on the split squat here. So as you notice when you're in this position, it's an easy habit to get into of just coming forward like you're bringing your leg forward here, but that's not really the case or shouldn't be the case on a split squat. What you do want to work on is pushing your hip back so that way you're almost feeling like you're sitting back like in a squat, pushing your hip back, and that way this is going to keep your lower leg more vertical, put more pressure through the heel, and then you're going to feel it a little bit more in the glute that way. So if you really want to try to focus on glute, make sure you're kind of pulling that hip back as you bring, as you bend in the knee, and then pushing up through that heel, and you can feel a lot of pressure through that glute through the duration of the exercise. So quick tip there, really get the concentration on the glute rather than just the quad and uh, pressure in the knee joint. So just really focus on pulling the hip back as you squat down in the split squat. Three sets, 12 reps. Whew, time to isolate those hamstrings. You'll notice a lot of unilateral work in this workout due to us not having a lot of weights, only 50 pound dumbbells. So you can't put a lot of load on both legs. So to increase the amount of weight on your legs, you start doing single leg exercise unilateral. So the 50 pounds or even 100 pounds, depending on how much you have, feels a hell of a lot more. And you're also isolating each leg in conjunction with the next. So you can also work on any asymmetrical problems, either it be size issues, strength issues in each one of your legs. So that's a good plus too. So that's what we have going for you, which is nice. In a world where sweatpants are worn 24 seven and never washed, where sweat stains are a plenty, sweatpants back with a vengeance. Ugh. YouTube's gonna be implementing smell vision pretty soon. So, get ready. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we love legs just as much as the father would love his red-headed stepson. Right, Hudson? Yeah. Yeah, if these weights were a stepchild who had red hair, I'd be beating the shit out of him right now. Or are they beating you? <laughs> if I had a red-headed stepchild, they'd be beating the shit out of me right now. <laughs> Which, you know, I gotta be really careful about what I say because uh, little known fact, some of you non-blondes or gingers may not know this, but there's a, 
a war that's been raging for thousands of years. It's a little bit like that Underworld movie with vampires and werewolves, except it's uh, toeheads and gingers, so and just watch out. It rages at night because we can't stand the sun. I'm a day walker. I put on, you know, a whole, whole, whole lot of Bondo. Yeah. SPF 1000 buff dude doesn't leave home without it. Well, at least a toehead buff dude. Exactly. SPF 1000 at least. You'll notice that we're not doing a lot of comedy during this workout because this workout's all business. Fucking leg workouts, God damn it. They get the most, they get the least views and they're the hardest. Where's the love? Where's the leg love? The leg love. Leg love. Hmm. DB swings. Typically, I believe up to this point on our channel, all we've ever done is uh, kettlebell swings. So with this one, you just want to keep in mind, be very careful, because you don't have quite as solid of a grip. So you don't want your hands to slip due to the sweat. <clears throat> Send the dumbbell off like a missile. Peg some neighbor in the side of the head that's barbecuing, you know, hot dogs or something. Death by dumbbell. Not cool. <laughs> That could be your head, dude. All right, finishing up the last set of DB swings. As you can see, Hudson back there. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Quick dumbbell leg at home dumbbell workout. And there's gonna be more in the future for sure. So look for those. And uh, nothing much else to say besides. Starting the 12 week plan this week. Hell yeah, main channel. Nah, I'm done, that's all. No, that's all. I thought he was gonna say say buff, <laughs> shit. All right. I was waiting for you oh. to lead in. Okay, well, I get battle lead in. So, thank you, dudes and girls, and as always, stay buff. Yeah.